like starting in just about 10 minutes at 10 o'clock. Until then, I guess we'll let these kids circle the rim of the tissue pit. As you do.
here we are. Let me have a seat. Oh, hi kittens. Hi kittens. Your mom's still over there at the door? That was actually Custard starting all that trouble at the door, not Maggie, like I would assume. Let me take a look here and see how our camera angles are. I had to put Custard in timeout. He gets kind of spicy himself when he's angry at a door. It used to just be about Logan. It's the first time I've seen him do it really for somebody else, or maybe the second time. Yeah, my backlight's pretty intense. Maybe I should close those curtains. Doesn't seem very intense in person, but oh, even a cloudy day is brighter than your indoor lights. Okay, let's try that. <clears throat> Pretty regular size mailbag today, so plenty of time for everybody to eat their breakfast. I already had mine. Um, and uh, as far as news for the week, news for the week is, uh, I don't know, everybody's doing fine. And these kids went to the vet this week for their surgeries, and they're all ready to go. And it's just our mom here, uh, this is Thimble, and the, the boy, uh, Silo, who still need adopters, I'm told. Uh, I'm told by Dawes that they have somebody for uh, the two girls. So mom and Silo, um, they wouldn't be too bad to go together, uh, or they wouldn't be too bad to go uh, separately. I tell you, DJ is just in love with little Thimble and was talking to me last night about how she thinks Thimble's one of the sweetest mom cats we've had in a while. I know it might surprise some of you to hear that, but... You know, apart from being uh, real concerned about changes in her environment, uh, so I would expect her to be a little spicy, uh, you know, after right immediately after she's adopted. But uh, once everything, she's, once she understands how everything works, she gets much calmer about stuff. And uh, she made that point again last night. DJ just finished telling me how cool Thimble was and how, you know, uh, sweet she was. And then... Uh, DJ went over to close one of the blinds in the bedroom, which is something that she doesn't do very often and that uh, I guess Thimble isn't there for uh, very often. And that made Thimble kind of run over and hiss. Uh, she didn't, you know, she wasn't going to attack anybody at that point. Um, she's basically past that, I think. But still, uh, really kind of set her off in a way where she was concerned about what, what was going on for just a minute. And then, you know, DJ kind of petted her and she was cool. And everything was fine. But I think it makes uh, the point that the thing, Thimble's number one problem these days is just anything that she doesn't expect. And she's just, she's like a guard dog where she's just always on alert. And then if there's anything that's strange, her first reaction is, I got to stop it. So uh, it should be perfect to say, protect your house from thieves. Um, but uh, um, once, once she understands your routine, though, she's, she's very cool and calm about everything that we do anymore uh when i like bring her from room to room really i'll pick her up and you know i'll put her back in her room and leave her in there and she's fine i can go in and out of my office and she's basically fine uh, if i leave her in there too long without food that's another thing that'll make her a little spicy but uh but she's just she's and like dj says she turns out to be super sweet she's you know pudgy and snuggleable and just loves to be petted and snuggled and fed lots of treats and uh hang out at the end of the bed and watch tv with us just all day long so uh, she's a great mom cat after all, and uh, I do hope she finds the right person to adopt her. And then, of course, Silo is just, he's my little buddy. He follows me around, he purrs, and uh, he's there to greet me at every possible moment. And I'm sure uh, he's not going to have any trouble finding the right person for him. Uh, maybe the same person for both of them. Who knows? So here we have a, an interesting postcard uh, with a strange sort of sculpture of a, a plant on it. I don't even know what that is. It's uh, clearly some sort of a garden, tropical. I can see palm trees and maybe, I don't know if these are grapes or some sort of vine on the side with a little bit path. It's very pretty. And on the back it says, uh, Naples Botanical Garden. Okay, well, I guess that explains. Hello, Dr. DJ and Mr. A visiting Fort Myers in the Sunshine State. We saw burrowing owls in Cape Corral. How about that? Um, they have the same yellow eyes as Nibbles. Goblet is extra cute. Well, that is adorable. Thank you so much for taking us with you on your vacation. That is, uh, that's really sweet of you, and I always appreciate that. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't take too many vacations myself, so it's nice to know I was there with you in spirit. Uh, those burrowing owls, I still haven't gotten around to sort of looking those up online, but how cool is that? Um, that's, uh, 
it just it reminds me of the owls in Future Mama now that I think about it and how that was sort of a running gag. Uh, not that they were burrowing owls, but just, they were these weird pests and uh, the burrowing owls kind of feel like maybe that was an inspiration for that. Um, got an infestation. All right. Uh, this is interesting. We've got something. Uh, we got two of these. that are really, really flat packages. And I know this happened to us once before and there was nothing in them. Let's see if that's not the same thing again this time. There's nothing on the outside to tell us what it is. Let's open this carefully and make sure that we don't miss anything that might be hiding inside. Well, there is something. All right, the something is, oh, it's more blank. You, this was the same thing as last time, wasn't it? It's more just blank UPS labels. Uh, not, not even blank labels, the labels are taken off. This is just the backing paper for the UPS labels. And uh, gosh, I wish I knew how to find out who sent these and if they are getting scammed about maybe somebody bought something for us and they're getting scammed and this is what they're shipping. Maybe there's just a really weird item you can order on Amazon that is already used UPS labels. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the second time this has happened to us and I think we got two of them. And I don't usually post details, but maybe this time, at least on the Discord. Um, oh, this one's not blank. This one has a label inside that is uh, an actual label. Maybe this will be a clue. Uh, this label, well, I don't know though, because it's the same It's the same return address as on the outside, but it's a different, I think it's just somebody else that had one of these things that was gonna be sent to them. So I don't think this is the perpetrator. What I'm saying is, uh, I think this is a shipping label that's supposed to go on the outside of one of these. They all just say they're from Shipper Center in St. Paul, no, I'm sorry, in Rochester, New York on St. Paul Street. Shipper Center, uh, let's assume that's probably an Amazon uh, location or something. Uh, and then apparently one was supposed to go to some place called VG Gator uh, in Hickson, Tennessee. But uh, I don't know what this is. Um, there's just nothing else in there except for that already filled out shipping label. So that's also technically used. Um, like I was saying, maybe I'll post the tracking numbers on the Discord just in case somebody wants to say, oh, I recognize that, that was me, and uh, you know, I was supposed to be this other thing. I don't know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that to start with, and then if it's somebody who wasn't on the Discord, uh, I apologize, we'll find a way to, uh, well, I don't know, if you think it was you, um, if you think this could have been something that you sent, uh, or even if you intended to send us blank uh, used UPS labels for some reason, let me know. Uh, you can always email us if you're not on Discord. The email is headmaster at kitten.academy. Um, but just in case here, let's see what that is all about. There we go. Okay. Strange, strange times. Uh, so that's the two and three of those that we've gotten now. Um, uh, very unusual. All right. Well, uh, no need to dwell on that. Let's keep rolling. Let's just see. This is addressed to Qtensils at Kitten Academy. That's adorable. I love it when the packages come addressed to the cats or the faculty. It's, it's so cute. I'm glad the UPS, uh, USPS, the post office, uh, doesn't doesn't mind that. And they're like, we don't know this person, so we're returning it. <laughs> I'm glad that's never happened. All right. The note does say, time for the little cuddlery class to have their own long-tailed mice. Please deploy now so the kittens can drag them all over the room. From Joe and her cat, Halfers. Aw, oh, Joe and Halfers. Yeah, I'll put, that makes good sense, actually. I'm, I'm surprised we don't have some of these around for them already. I feel like we should, but uh, I'm going to set this somewhere for the rest of Mailbag and hopefully not forget it. It won't quite fit in my pocket like I would normally do for something I wanted to play right away. Uh, but we'll go for that. Joe and Halfers, that's a great idea. I'm so glad you thought of that. They are getting to that age just now where they're starting to figure out that they can play with objects. So... Uh, hopefully they end up really enjoying that. I guess we'll see. All right. This is Pucka. Pucka post? Puka, puka, puka post? I don't know. It's from Great Britain, though. It's been a while since we've seen it. Actually, I was in the post office, and they gave me the little slip that you have to sign for an overseas package. And the slip says it is from Great Britain, the person. Like, it's like from the person in Great Britain. Like, all of you, all of you got together and sent us a package. And I really appreciate that solidarity. Uh, everybody in Great Britain together. Um, that's that's what it made it sound like. Of course, I understand that's not the case. Probably, who knows? Uh, but it's cool. I think it's been a while since we've gotten anything from you because you've had some shipping difficulties, and uh, I guess this might be the indication that's over. 
I don't know. I don't know how that works, but let's find out what we got here. Let's see. From all of Great Britain, or maybe just a person named Great Britain. That'd be a weird name, but I don't know why you couldn't do that. Okay, the note. Okay to read on stream, and it's got a little sticker with a cat sitting in a cardboard box saying, if, it, if I fits, I sits. Oh, and on the back, every day is a cat or day. Those are cute. Uh, very, very cute. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, it's two cats cornered by an army of mice, and they're standing in the corner, and uh, the one cat's saying to the other, well, don't just stand there, negotiate. Uh, yeah, that's, that's cute. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got that far side style to it. It's not far side, though. It's uh, Fitty. Not familiar with Fitty, but that's okay. Dear Mr. A and DJ, greetings from Southern England. I'm Abby. Uh, number 1984 on Discord, and I'm sending you a few gifts for both yourself, DJ, and the residents of KA. These gifts are a thank you for all that you do for the cats and kittens. I try and watch KA every day. Seeing the cats and kittens always makes me smile. Wishing you the very best for 2023. Hope it's a perfect year for you and all at KA. Love and Spoogles, Abby, uh, a.k.a. Great Britain. All right, Abby, thank you so much. I think I know your I know your name somehow, so I must have talked to you on Discord or uh, I don't know. My brain doesn't work so good lately, so we just do what we can. These are so cute. Look at how you packaged all of these. Uh, that's adorable. We've got little bags, and on the inside we have a little wrapped gift that's got a, a girl and her pet tiger, apparently. Those different girls with the pet tigers. And he's the tiger's doing things like just sitting at tea with them. Uh, I see he's getting stuff out of the wardrobe with them. Uh, they appear to be sitting outside and sipping tea together. Uh, tea or lemonade, maybe. Something like that. Very cute. Uh, there's another one here with the same wrapping paper. And also adorably packaged right there. And I see a third one. Oh, this one's uh, not inside a thing, so it might be easier to see the paper. This is so cute. It's uh, sort of reminiscent of Calvin and Hobbes, but this tiger is much more a real tiger um, in a way that would be a little scary. I'm going to put a picture of that on Discord so everybody can see how cute it is up close. Uh, then we also have a wrapped gift here in this. Wow, it's like Christmas here. A little bit late, but it's totally Christmas. And another one wrapped with the same sort of cat clock ring. So cute. Okay. Let's put these, uh, did I already post the picture with the mailing thing on it? I don't know. Oh, I did, okay, good. Someone smiling back says, I get empty packages all the time where they have something small inside like a bead. I heard it's companies that send out random stuff to try and prove their shipping records. Well, that's weird though, why would it come to me? Well, I don't know, who knows how they decide those things, huh? Um, okay, well, let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna post this little. Oh, I see. Somebody says it's the tiger who came to tea. Is that a is that a story I should know? It's very cute, and he's doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, that is adorable. In fact, okay. Well, let's see what you sent, Abby. Uh, Abby. Abby in 1984, of course. Okay, a very good year. Treats for the cats. Uh, distribute as you see fit. Well, these are so nicely wrapped. It's almost a shame to open them. It's cute to get little uh, gifts that are in uh, wrapping paper. Oh, these look like they're pretty fancy gifts, too. Let's see. Pets with Wilco Deli, the finest mini duck strips. Whoa. And they do look like dried duck strips. That is amazing. Uh, they do look like the finest. Scrumbles! <laughs> Scrumbles Natchers. Good inside out. Scrumbles is almost like DJ's pet name for me. Uh, in fact, I would be surprised if she hasn't called me that at some point. That's funny. Scrumbles, Nashers. All right. She's going to get a, a giggle out of that, I'm sure, just like I did. And then we have Dreamies, Creamy Dreamies. Ooh, I don't think we, I don't know. We've seen Creamy Dreamies before. They're like the uh, Dreamies version of the Churu. So I'm sure that everybody will enjoy those quite a bit. Keep going. Look at these cute little bags. Oh, my goodness. I need to find something to do with these. All right, and this one has a note that says, a treat for Mr. A and DJ. Ooh. All right, let's see what that could be. I'm guessing some sort of a chocolate candy bar based on the shape and weight. Ooh, oh, wow. 
Cadbury Dairy Milk Oreo. It looks like it's filled with sort of a cookies and cream uh, filling. You know, I'm surprised. Uh, DJ is not a big fan of chocolate, but I think you found one that she might just go for uh, entirely because that sounds like exactly her kind of thing. I've never heard of that. Of course, we do have Cadbury here, but not nearly the range of Cadbury products that they have uh, overseas. So that's a new one on me. Okay. Oh, I see. For Mr. A's laptop or any other surface that needs adorning. Well, this must be my stickers. I almost don't want to tear this beautiful little wrapping paper. I'm going to have to Google for the tiger who came to tea and see if it's that same art because that is so cute. Okay, come on. All right. Well, I can't get this tissue open without tearing it, though. So that's unfortunate, but that's what it is. All right. I took a picture. It'll last longer. Okay. <laughs> all right. I really have to tear it. All right. We're just giving it all the way up on that. Oh, oh, that's cute. Crazy about cats. And it's a whole bunch of little cats that are semi-transparent. So you can put them on top even of other stickers. 60 stickers. My goodness. There's a lot of really cute little cats. They're all sort of sitting up with big eyes and all different sizes and shapes of cats. This guy's got a great expression on. Almost all of them have this big wide-eyed expression, but he's got his eyes half closed. Like, uh, oh, and this one does too. I see. That's, those are very cute. All right. Perfect. Um, I, don't, I still don't know how to pile these things up so they get distributed appropriately after mailbag, but we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, another one in a cute little bag. Oh my goodness. Okay, this can go in here with the other wrapping paper. And the note on this one says, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe this gift. That's, uh, you wouldn't believe this gift. That's wooden like wood. Uh, that's, all right. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little piece of wood, and it says, I'm guessing Brighton. It does say Brighton. South Downs. And it is a wooden postcard. Oh, that's adorable. It's got this cute little painted scene on it that is apparently uh, not quite a map of Brighton. I don't think I can use this to get around, but it does have all the sights. The uh, Clock Tower, Preston Manor, the Museum and Art Gallery, Brighton Dome, the Corn Exchange. All right, I'm going to have to Google for that one. The Corn Exchange. Hmm. Being from the Midwest, that sounds like a place I could hang. All right, uh, it says to Mr. Andy J, I found this postcard whilst visiting Brighton, England, a seaside city on the south coast, not too far from where I live. Thought you might like a moment, a memento from there. I thought it being the postcard made from wood was a little unusual. Lots of love, Abby, and it's even got our address on it. Uh, that is so cute. I wonder if you could just send one of these through the mail and if it would make it or not. I guess it's better not to find out. I'm glad you sent it to us that way. Three ply plywood, actually. It's not just uh, one little, you know, tiny piece of, uh, you know, like something uh, balsa maybe, but uh, uh, yeah, it's three ply. So I guess it's pretty solid. This is probably going to last a while. It's so cute. I might have to put it on our fridge or something. That is adorable. I love that. All right. Uh, we'll stand that up there for a minute. Thank you for, uh, once again, uh, thank you for thinking of us while you were on your little seaside vacation. You know, we probably have a lot of towns here in Connecticut that are, you know, at least like Brighton in spirit, where they're little seaside towns with a lot of fun stuff going on that are kind of touristy. And since we've been here uh, four years now, I think it's, I think we've just about hit our four year anniversary. Um, I haven't seen a single one of them. I've, I've hardly done anything but drive through. Uh, I did go to the beach one time, maybe two times. Yeah, two times uh, for an afternoon. And that was, that's it. That's all I've seen of, uh, yeah. I didn't make time to do that. It's been on my list forever. Uh, anyway, little gifts for DJ and Mr. A. Hey, all right, well, let's see. Let's see what that means. Abby, thank you again. This is all really sweet stuff. I'm, it's very kind of you. Oh, two sets. All right. Well, whatever it is, there's two sets stuck together. How is this to be open? I am not really clear on which of this is a flap to pull up and which is not. This is like a puzzle box. It's like the lamest, simplest puzzle box. It does not take much to puzzle me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Where should I put my knife? Speaking of puzzles. All right. We're just going to put those in there for now. Here it is. Okay. Right under all this packing. Okay. Let's. I see there's some pieces of tape. Maybe if I cut those pieces of tape, it will become more obvious. 
what the puzzle is. There we go. That came right open. What is it though? It says two sets, but there's four little packages inside. Oh, okay. Now that's packing bubbles. But this is something all wrapped up. Whatever it is must be very tiny. Oh, I love tiny things. You know, DJ's a big fan of tiny things. That's a weird way to put that. Oxymoronic, I guess, kind of. Oh, ah, good thing it's packed in the bubble wrap still. I think it might be about time to replace the blade on this knife. It's not doing it. It's not even cutting the mustard over here. You don't need much of a knife for that. Okay, let's see. I want to break whatever might be in here. Oh, it's a of course it's a tiny cat. Uh, let's see if we can get it all the way out, though. I'm glad it was so carefully packaged. It's a tiny little porcelain cat laying on its back with its paws up, and it's so detailed. It's got a little face, and you can even see its tiny little paw beans. It looks exactly like Custard laying on his back, actually, or I'd say similar enough. Point it that way towards the camera, and let's look at the rest of them real quick, and then we can... Um, Maybe it's because it's two sets. Maybe there's uh, duplicates in here. We'll see. Um, but maybe then after I've got all of them out, I can take a little macro photo to share with everybody because I can see these are just too small to see. Um, probably on that camera there. Ah, Butterfingers, my goodness. All right, hang on now. I might have to get out the real knife to make this work. Oh, hang on. I can see the very delicate tail right here. I just, I really don't want to break these trying to get them open. That would be... The worst, wouldn't it? Sometimes a sharper knife is just what you need. Pay no attention to the bandage on my pinky finger when I say that. That wasn't a knife anyway. That was scissors. I'm fine with knives. Scissors are the real danger here. Okay. We have a little tabby cat that's all sort of knelt down in a playful pose with its tiny little, oh, super fragile tail. My goodness. I'm glad these are so carefully packed. That thing's a scary delicate. Okay. And then on the other side, I said four things, but this side is all wrapped in one little blob. So let's see. Oh, this is a much bigger cat. Oh, my goodness. Is this the mother of the, the these two kittens? Is that maybe what we're looking at here? Let's see. Oh, much bigger. Oh, it's so cute, though. I do believe that's what we're going to go with. And this is like a little tuxy mom, we're going to say. Um, and it is also very delicate porcelain, a little bit bigger, and makes a cute little set with these little kittens just ready to play with it. Aw, that's adorable. Okay, let's see if I can get a little little macro photo of that to share here. Let me turn them around just a little bit so I can get, well, that's all backlit now. All right, we're not going to get the perfect shot here, but we can try. We'll have this guy trying to play with mom's tail. This one's just over here doing his thing. Yeah, hard to get all their faces at once. What if I turn this guy around? Okay. Well, we'll just go with that. That is so cute. Oh, DJ's going to love those. Thank you very much. That is just, it's so kind of you. I feel, uh, thank you very much, I guess. It's, it's too much. It's too much. It's really sweet. I'm going to put them on your postcard and slide that over here for the moment. And hopefully nobody will decide that those are good to play with in the meantime. I'll try to keep an eye on them right there in front of me okay i think we got everything out of that package that is so cute I, i'll say it's a little mom cat and her kittens even if that's not technically what it is i don't know all right put this over here and uh what did i just say what did i just say i said no playing with those maybe i should take a break and bring them upstairs or maybe i should just set them over here on the mantle these guys have actually gone up to the mantle at least once i hate for them to get knocked down okay let me just put them out of the room i'll just put them right over here for now hang on All right, I put them in the uh, cabinet of wonderful things there. I just have to remember to get them out or take them out to TJ next time. She's in the kitchen. Thank you very much, Abby. That's uh, too sweet. These, I guess, can also go in the garbage now because I don't know what else to do with them. Okay. Well, let's keep rolling. Uh, here we have something that just says address correction. So I guess uh, it says... 
Mappy, I think this is Mappy, maybe it says Happy and Polly, maybe it says Mappy and Polly. I guess somebody picked a bad font, uh, but that happens. Uh, otherwise, I don't think there's any clue on the outside who it's from. Maybe on the inside, let's see. Oh, well, some kind of cat tree, of course it is. Uh, I think I opened it upside down, though. Let's find out. Oh, okay, that's a very interesting material. Uh, I definitely opened it upside down. Okay, let's flip it up and see if there's anything here to tell us what it's about. If I do that, am I ever going to get this back in there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just open this up. We'll play by this. I have no idea what I'm doing, people. No idea. Oh, well, this is some sort of an animal, I think. It's a tube. Very interesting. What on earth? I, I still don't know. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let me see what this is. What? It's a, no, it's a post office box. Oh, actually, it's a mailbox. It is a fuzzy mailbox cat tree. Oh, and, and oh wow, it's even got a magnet that opens the, the holds the door shut and open. And I guess a post for it to sit on. And uh, this must be the blanket for the inside and the hardware that goes with it. That is so cool. This must probably just the instructions. There we go. It's a mailbox cat tree, exactly what it says. And it really is just a base, uh, one uh, thing that stands up and the mailbox goes on top. I think you can see the picture right there. Probably take about five minutes to put it together. And uh, I love the fact that it's, it's so it's completely open on. It says post on the front. It's got a little mail slot to put the mail in. It's got a flag, oh, that hangs off the bottom for them to play with. I guess that makes sense. It's even got a little bit of extra decoration on the top and on the sides. You can see it's a fancy mailbox. And then uh, even though the front opens and closes, you can see the back is wide open for the kittens to get into even when it's otherwise closed. I bet they'd have some fun uh, pushing this door open from the inside. Uh, it's just, like I said, a big magnet there to hold it shut. I think a magnet actually might just be because of this stuff that holds it. I can't even tell. It's got a little pull on it. Very nicely made. Wow. Uh, that is adorable. Unfortunately, it's done, and the, the bottom piece, by the way, is colored green to look like the grass that it stood in. Uh, this is so cute. I don't see any reason not to put it out right away. Um, oh, it's a letter. It's not the flag. Look at that. It is a little letter with a heart on it. I guess you guys saw that and I didn't, and I can see there's catnip in it. So cute. Well, that's adorable, and I would like to put that together and put it up uh, almost right away. Put an RD in it. Wow, don't waste any time. Okay, go on in there. That's fine. Um, let's keep the hardware with it. Oh, well, look what came in the mail. <laughs> it's a cutie mom cat. Oh, oh, there's sparrows on the porch. Oh, oh, goodness, she saw that. All right, good. Good job, Mom. You show those guys who's boss. All right, well, I'm just going to set that aside for now, and after mailbag, we'll put it together and then see if uh, PJ has any particular place she wants it to live in the house. And if uh, somebody wants to take credit for it, please do let us know who sent that. It is adorable. And also let us know if there's something else we're supposed to do with it. Okay, this is from Lisa G. Uh, Beans and Cheeto, and I can even see, uh, not only do we know that it's that because of the cute little uh, art on it by Kleben, uh, there's also, it's been signed by Beans here. I don't know if you can see these little bite marks all, these must have turned into a big cat. There's big bite marks actually, uh, quite large, wow. Okay, let's see what we have. I think we all know what this is probably going to be. Wow, running on the cat wheel. He does like that cat wheel. I know we've had some people, uh, I think, that have messaged me to ask about the cat wheel. And there's so many times I look at these messages that come in and I, I see them on my watch or on my phone. And I'm like, oh, I'll write back to that when I'm at the computer. And then I never do. Um, and so I, I'm way behind on all that. Way, I mean, way further behind than I can even admit at this point. Um, but uh, I do know some people, if, multiple people, I think, have sent me messages that I haven't yet responded to about what is the cat wheel. It says the note, by the way. Thank you. Um, it is the one fast cat brand, and I don't have any particular complaints about it. It's lasted a long time. Um, there's a couple pieces on it that broke, uh, but nothing critical. So 
Uh, I guess I'd give it a recommendation. It's not the fanciest one from the side. It doesn't look great. Um, you know, it looks like some sort of exposed uh, girders or something from the side. Um, but uh, but the rest of it's, it's a nice design. It's very nice. I, I couldn't say anything really bad about it. So, uh, yeah, it's One Fast Cat is the brand. And, of course, I think you've seen the faculty doesn't really use it much. They can, they can be trained to use it. We tried to train them for a little while, and it was working great, and then we just didn't keep up with it, and that's on us. So you can train any cat to use it, but most of the kittens at some point uh, just start using it on their own if they've been raised with it around. So that's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, here we have a cute little card. It says garden party, and it is in fact a bunch of cats having a garden party with uh, lemonades and a little picnic blanket, some kittens playing in the tree. Very sweet. Inside it says, hello, Kitten Academy. Spring is almost here, so it's time for a garden party. Let's bring lots of nibbles and a ramekin of something yummy. Don't forget those utensils. Spork and teaspoon are essential, plus a spatula to serve it with. Let's wash it all down with a goblet of lemonade. Sorry, couldn't resist. In close, please find the usual endowments for the utensils. Anyway, thanks for taking such wonderful care of the babies. Obisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. And of course, here we have uh, their laser pointers, as uh, Lisa always sends. Uh, this one says Goblin. It's got a cute little picture of them and when they were kittens, uh, which is so, I got to be so fun for their adopters. By the time they're adopted, they don't look quite the same, but they've got the pictures um, on the lasers, which is sweet. There's one for Nibbles. We saw Spatula, Teaspoon, and Ramekin, and of course, Sporky. Uh, very sweet. They are going to love those. Thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, that's And Beans and Cheeto, too. That is really sweet of you to do this for every class, and I know they really enjoy them. And uh, for now, I guess, I guess I can put these right in here since they're the first endowments of uh, today's mailbag, interestingly enough. Okay, we'll set them there and we'll see what happens as we open the rest. Uh, this was quite interesting. Let's see what this is. Why was this interesting to me? Oh, it was interesting because I looked at it and I saw it's first off it says box. Somebody wrote box on it. I don't know why. I guess because it's going to a post office box, but it seems like just the word box doesn't seem very helpful by itself. And then I noticed that the return address is High Street, Perth. And I thought, whoa, this came to us from Perth. Uh, no, it's Perth, New Jersey, as everybody knows. Uh, <laughs> High Street uh, in Perth. Uh, New Jersey, yeah, um, that, that would be the first thing you would think of. Okay, let's see here, of course it would be. Let's see what this is. Oh. It's, uh, let's see, if the other person is down under, I guess this is up over, it's from up over. <laughs> wow, I can't really tell what this is yet. Uh, I love these colors and shapes, though, Let's, and I, I didn't see a note, so I think whatever it is, someone, there's nothing on the outside to tell who it's from uh, as such, unless your name is Box, in which case, thank you, Box. Um, and there's some sort of note here, but I don't think it's from the person who sent it. I think it's from the manufacturer of this crazy, strange object that says, best wishes. All right, well, let's see what that means. Oh, one more ship tunnel. Okay. It says it's from uh, Estelo Living. Best, uh, sorry, thank you and best regards. Okay, I still think that's probably from the manufacturer, not from the person who sent it, but ship tunnel. It does, there is something nautical going on here, but I can't make heads or tails of it yet. What on earth? Well, let's see. Let's pull this. No, can I pull this? There's a knot here. It's, uh, it seems like it's tied pretty well, actually. Is that, oh, there we go, it's a bow, thank you. Good, all right, well, in that case, wow, this is some nice material, whatever this is. Whoa, what is even going on here? I still can't quite make heads or tails of it. There we go. There's a tunnel inside the tunnel here. This is like two levels of tunnel. Is that supposed to come out? Is it supposed to be a tunnel in a tunnel? There's also a toy on a stick here. What is happening, people? Oh, okay. We have an anchor on a wand with a string. That's super cute. We have uh, what appears to be a ship tunnel, I guess. 
Now, let's see, that's got to be the bottom. So it's got to sit like this. And uh, it's made out of some very nice material. I can see a life preserver. I can see sort of a porthole and a fin. Uh, again, it's, it does. Oh, and this looks like this could sit right in this pocket for them to play with maybe on their own. That's an interesting idea. Uh, inside, there is a tunnel that uh, is not permanently affixed, but it is tied to the inside. So we have a tunnel in a tunnel. That actually is super interesting. I bet they would like it just the way it is. There are, we've already got a silo who's in here playing. He's found a mouse. There's a mouse hanging inside. And uh, there's a tunnel inside. And then there's this little section here that's not in the tunnel, but is inside. Very, very interesting design and with a lot of little pockets and places for kittens to hide and play. Uh, oh, this is also a pocket. This little uh, fin shaped thing here has an opening at the top to put something into. Huh. Wow. There is a lot going on in here. And I don't, it's a, uh, I guess, I guess it's not supposed to be anything specific, or if it is, I sure don't recognize what it is supposed to be, but it is a sort of an abstract design, I guess, but it's very pretty. It's made out of really nice material. It's a tunnel in a tunnel. The kittens are going to love it. And I guess if I leave this tied up for the moment, this is safe for them to play with without the string out. So we can leave that right there for a few. Um, and if somebody knows that this is something specific and so please let me know. It must be. It's, it's very nice. Wow, the material is just spectacular. Uh, unfortunately, I can't read the name of the manufacturer because it is not written in English. It's written in some sort of uh, kanji. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea. Hmm. It's, uh, it's super cool. Okay, well, there's another bag here, so let's see what this is. I, this is really nice and pretty, and I love it. I don't know what to call it. That's my only problem. I don't, know. I don't know what to say it is. I guess ship tunnel. All right, we'll go with that. It's descriptive anyway. This also has a similar card in it that I think is also from the manufacturer. It says best wishes. It says, I said similar. It's actually identical. But inside this one says, oh, oh, there we go. This one has a note from the person who sent it. I see. For deployment, here is part two of the tunnel order, order the more gardeny one. Amazon's was back ordered, so found it here instead. Hope you and the cats like it. Should make for some good photo ops. Take care. Merlin to you. Merlin to you. Thank you, Merlin to you for deployment. Well, these are so cool. Uh, the ship tunnel and, wow, we got some of the coolest pet beds for these kids today. This is awesome. That tunnel is so nice. And this uh, flowery thing is also, I guess, a tunnel. Indeed it is. Wow, lots of tunnels for this class. Uh, this is way nicer than most of the tunnels that we see, though. Um, and it's also a very strange design, once again, uh, because it's almost got like a like this weird tail. And these, these look more like uh, feet, like, like on the backside. It looks like it's got a little tail and little flippers, doesn't it? Like an alligator or something. But then on the front side, it's very clearly uh, like a daisy or a sunflower or something uh, that's bright and yellow and flowery. And then we've got the same little manufacturer sticker here that I couldn't read. I couldn't even pretend to try to read. Um, but it's got a crinkle fabric. On the outside, it's got this strong corduroy. And on the inside, it's got a really soft uh, fleece. And they are so nice. Like, this is some sturdy, beautiful stuff. And I love the fact that it's sort of whimsical and abstract and that I don't know quite what to make of it. I, I like that a lot. These really, on the back, say flippers more than flowers to me, especially with the little square bit. Um, uh, and the, the seams, the, the work on this is just spectacular. All the seams are, like, double... Uh, you know, like uh, French felt or whatever. Uh, you can see that they're done uh, extremely sturdy. They, they really spared no effort in, in putting this together. It's, uh, it's very nicely made. Wow. Uh, I, again, I don't know quite what to make of it, but Merlin, to you, uh, thank you so much for sending it. I guess I'll chat with you when I get a minute on Discord. 
um, and see if you have any particular thoughts about it. But um, they're going to have a lot of fun with these things. And I'll just have to make sure uh, Loganberry stays away because I would hate to have to just put one of these through the wash right away if he, he decides to do something to them. All right, well, let's keep going. There's still more stuff for here for us to see. And uh, I know we're running a little behind, but I think we can get through all this stuff today. So, uh, you know what? That pocket would be, I think, for now, a perfect spot if this will fit. There we go. Put the little notes in there. Then we don't have to ever forget who it came from. There we go. All right, this one just says Kitten Academy on the outside. Maybe there will be a note on the inside, as we would hope. We have a cat house and scratcher. Ooh, oh, it's a burger drive through <laughs> That's so cute. Open 24 hours, burger drive through cat house, uh, catnip included. And it's got this cute looking kitty uh, sitting in it, as you can see. That is adorable. Where is the note? Here we go. Hi, Mr. A, can you please deploy this for nibbles and the utensils from the B&B &B sisters? Well, for sure we can. They might be just about old enough to appreciate it, too. Uh, let me put this. Uh, I was just thinking about giving them some sort of a tunnel-y thing. This is way too much for them right now. They would just go in there and would never see them again. This might be about their speed, honestly, but they haven't yet learned not to poop in things, so it's not quite time for that yet. This, on the other hand, might be just about perfect. A little bit of a cardboard thing for them to play in. So uh, there was something else I was going to bring upstairs for them. Oh, this. Yeah, there we go. We'll put those together uh, right over here, out of the way for a minute, and we will bring those up to them right away. Okay. Thank you so much. I know there's more from the B&B &B Sisters, too. I see there's a big, what's clearly a B&B &B Sisters box there. Uh, we're going to have to dig it out. That might be one of the last things we get to today. So we'll let that suspense build. And meanwhile... Hmm. This is interesting. I see the words cat litter tray, but it seems too small. Let's see what that means. And if there's a note, if there's poop on it, that's cute. It says it is a disposable cat litter box, foldable paper kitty trays, lightweight cardboard box, waterproof, indoor, low entry. I see. Oh, it's game time for the cute tinsels to get their first litter box. Thought these might come in handy if you're running low on food trays. From Frozen Tundra Crew. Oh, wow. Well, these are so cute, and they've got poop on them so that they can see exactly what they're supposed to do. I see. And look at that. It's a whole set of them, each individually packaged. Uh, the Cat Cat is special, it says. The Cat Cat is special. I don't know if that's a misprint or, uh, you know, one of those things that's cute. I think each of these has five in them. Let's see how this works real quick. Let's just take a look. Now, I'll tell you guys, uh, we used to use disposable litter boxes pretty much exclusively here. Um, this is not for kittens. For kittens, we've always used a little cardboard box or something. Uh, but for uh, older cats, we used to use the disposable card, uh, not disposable cardboard, disposable litter boxes that were made out of this um, stuff. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, that was really nice and would last a long time. I see that this looks like it's going to need a piece of tape or a sticker to hold it together, but it's just it's just a piece of um, uh, wax-coated paper that you can fold, and you can see there the cat cat is special uh, cat litter tray. We've got three. Oh, this, this is too much. Here we have a kitten that's making like a straining face, followed by this one is poop. He's got kind of a, a I don't know a face on it, and his eyes are like, oh, he's ready to take do a cat zoomy. Uh, clearly someone who has had been around plenty of pooping cats. Um, and then I can see the uh, corners are a little bit perforated, so I can fold them in, I would assume, like this. And then I think there's a set of stickers here to use to stick the ends together. That must be what these are, uh, so that they will stay in this shape. And that's a great height and size for a kitten um, litter box. This is a perfect, perfect size. I really like it. So, uh, yeah, we can totally use some of these. I'm excited to give it a try for them. And DJ will like this much better than the appearance of the old Chewy boxes that we've been using. Although I will say uh, we went through a, a period of time. I interrupted myself about the cat litter boxes, by the way. I'll get back to that. Uh, we went through a period of time when we were getting Chewy and they weren't using those nice cardboard trays for us. And I, I panicked a little. 
So um, then uh, I, I got some shipments that had those boxes in them, and I saved a ton. There's a giant stack of them in the garage right now for us to use. Um, so uh, so that's good. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't use these. These look fantastic. And then the thing I was going to say is that we used to use entirely disposable litter boxes here. It was pretty much all that we did. And then um, the manufacturer of them started making them really poorly, in fact. And I contacted them and said, hey, what's up with that? And I basically, I hate to use the term gaslighted, but they were basically like nothing. They're the same as they ever were. I'm like, look, I've got one of the old ones right here. I got one of the new ones. I even took like a calipers. I'm like, we can see it's thinner. They don't last as long. They're clearly not as nice quality. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, whatever. I just got the Niles. And then I looked online. There were a whole bunch of other people who also noticed they weren't as good. And uh, mostly because of that interaction, I decided, well, I'm done with those. And we bought a whole bunch of plastic litter boxes um, to, stay, to stick with and, and use and have to clean all the time, which is not the best. Um, but uh, those have been working out pretty well for us. And then just recently, um, well, actually, we had box this whole time um, and also what we put in the spare room that um, that Thimble was using for a little while she really doesn't like being in there but uh, we used one in there too they turn out to last pretty well uh, I'll have to share the info on where you can get those at some point because I would say they're they're fine if you want a disposable litter box they work fine Quite a few kittens. I guess you'll be seeing a lot of that. <clears throat> oh, Mr. A, I had to pack these quilts very tightly for this box. Would you please mind leaving them loose after I'm packing so they can fluff up again? Well, I don't think you have to worry about that. If you had to work hard to get them in there, I am not going to work that hard to get them back in. So we'll just have to leave it open, won't we? Uh, okay, your note says, oh, I love this spider head too. It's got a very cute little kitten on it, these beautiful blue flowers. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, and it smells like draft. Oh, everything smells like draft all of a sudden. I love it. Um, uh, we just had a, a pee incident upstairs and I had to wash some blankets and I, I washed them twice. 
And I was like, I'm a still a little paranoid. And I used a bunch of those little, uh, you can buy just the draft scent. They're like these little scent pills that you put in the water. I used, oh, uh, it smells so good. Anyway, uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, quilts for the thimble tubs. Beryl's quilt has a little extra bag attached. It contains her business cards that I printed out for her. Barrel Thimble Tubs Technology Services, or BTTS. Uh, that's been a running joke on Discord for those of you that don't know. Uh, the card and job title was designed by Joe and Halfers. Halfers, Halfers, I'm trying, Joe. Uh, please take one of the cards for yourself and DJ in case you should need her services in the future. Thank you. Love from Busy Cat. That's so cute. I can't wait to see it. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, first off, we have Thimble. Thimble gets uh, this amazing KA print. It's so soft and drafty. Oh, it's getting drafty in here. Maybe somebody needs to close the window. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right. This must be Barrel Thimble Tubs. Look at that. Wow. Those are some black kittens, too. Just like little Barrel Thimble Tubs. All you can see is the silhouette and the eyes. Uh, Barrel Thimble Tubs. And here are the cards. It's so cute. It's a picture of Beryl chewing on the camera cord, Tank's little uh, tail. And uh, that's it. It says Beryl Thimble Tubs Technology Services, LLC. Those are adorable. I will put one in my pocket right now uh, in case I need to call on somebody. And we'll put it, in fact, in my wallet uh, in between two of my other cards. Don't look at my card numbers, everybody. I'm telling you, no, no looking. No peeking. I use one of those flat wallets. I've been using these for, for years, actually. I guess I kind of like them. That's all. All right. I used to carry around a big, like, leather trifold wallet in my back pocket. Uh, that's not good for anything. All right. Let's see here. Silo. Oh, Silo. Silo gets this cool, like, leopard print. Uh, cougar print, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's very cool. And then uh, dig a little bit deeper. We have one more in here. This one is for Cistern. Cistern gets these cute kitties on the one side and a nice black uh, flannel on the other side. Very pretty. All right. So let's stack these carefully in here, but let them have some room to poof. There we go. All right. Wow. You really did pack those in. Look at that. That's, uh, that's in there. There's a whole extra blanket on top. All right. Uh, we let that sit. There's another box here from you, though. I see this is also, whoa, okay, this one's very heavy for some reason. Why? How can blankets be that? And maybe you really pack this one in, and it's just going to explode like one of those joke cans of uh, nuts that contains a, uh, basically a cat tunnel that pops out, right? Okay, let's see. No, okay, no pressure. It's not under pressure in here. Two Kitten Academy logo blankets for you to use around the Academy with love. Busy cat. Oh, let me show you the cute letterhead. Isn't that little kitty adorable? It looks just like a uh, little, uh, um, I almost said cistern, but I meant barrel. Very cute. Okay. Oh, well, that's exact. I don't know what I expected. It's exactly what they are. Oh, that's why they're heavy. They're not the, the big fluffy blankets that you sent for the kittens. This is like a, like a real throw blanket. Uh, it's made of this soft, short nap, fleecy material. Uh, Double-sided and nice seam work. Oh my goodness! Wow, it's even got a brand name on it. How about that? So I guess you can just order these printed from a place called Spoonflower. Spoonflower. Okay, I don't know what Spoonflower means, but that's a heavy, a nice heavy little blanket. DJ's gonna love it. And then I guess an identical one here at the bottom. I won't even pull that out yet. And let's just. Yeah. Okay. I can tell you didn't make these because they don't smell like draft. See, that's the giveaway. Um, but you apparently had them printed for us, and they're very nice. Thank you so much, Busy Cat. Uh, that is really, really sweet of you, and I love them. They will definitely find a home here at the Academy, or probably several homes over time. Uh, I'm a big fan. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what to do with them now, though? I guess sort of here. That This all has to go upstairs. So let's put this, if here we go together, like this to go upstairs together. And that's going upstairs. So let's slide it that way. Oh, oh okay. Now I've made a mess. That's fine. Okay. Two more boxes. I see. I know who this one is from as well. And that one. Okay. We know who all these are from. This is obviously, no, maybe not obviously to you. 
obviously to me, uh, based on the handwriting here, this is from Bob and Ruth, which makes me remember I haven't yet sent them out that basket. Oh my goodness. Uh, real soon. I got to do all the endowments and I got to send out all that stuff and I will do it all at once. I feel so bad now. Ugh. Uh, well, you sent me a reminder. That's what this is. All right. Uh, meanwhile, let's not waste time on that feeling bad right now. Uh, we will get to it. Let's do this note. The note, oh, this is beautiful. Uh, there's a little um, charcoal of a cat here named Matilda, because you can read her collar. It says Matilda. That is beautiful. Uh, ooh, curry plant seeds. Wow, I, you know, that does kind of look like them. Is that what those are? Hello, Mr. A and DJ, here are some, okay, hang on. Here are some cuddle blankets for the utensils. Mom is so sweet and special. Please give blankets as marked and toys as you see fit. The rest is as needed as well. I saw you're trying to grow curry plants, so I sent some seeds to put in potting mix and grow. They are easy, just don't overwater. Thanks for all you do, and good luck gardening. Spring is on its way. With gratitude, Ruth and Bob. Wow, I didn't know you grew the curry plants. Um, I am so excited. These are big seeds. My goodness, and you said uh, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, I think. Cool, I got planter's dozen, as we call that, 11. Uh, <laughs> um, I have been trying real hard to grow them from uh, cuttings. And, uh, you know, I've said it's not, it's not really a practical thing for me to be doing to just buy the curry leaves that we need. Uh, in you know big packages, probably cheaper than the effort I put into this so far, even. But it's fun to do and to try to, to get them to grow on our own. And I've, I've uh, I just yesterday moved a bunch of stuff around in my indoor garden, uh, which is really just a bunch of lights in the in an unused bathtub <laughs> uh, at this point. But um, I just I just took a bunch of plants that were growing in our hydroponic sort of starter uh, you know set that we've got. And I took those out of the hydroponic and replanted them in little uh, tiny pots to see if they would keep going. I was that was the um, the oregano and basil that I'm growing, and they're both doing great. They they survived the, this move over. They're they're flourishing even after the move. Uh, it's been a couple of days, I guess, and uh, they're looking real good. Um, I also am growing some Thai peppers, which is uh, the Thai peppers and the curry plant are both what I really want to try to grow. Uh, and I've tried the Thai peppers from seeds before. It didn't get a single seed to start at all. And then I took some of the peppers the DJ just bought at her Indian store and took all the seeds out of them and just put all the seeds into some wet paper towels and put them aside. It took almost, uh, it took the better part of two weeks. And then they were just sprouting everywhere. And I just took as many of them that looked good as I could and replanted them in the hydroponic. And they took off. And we got uh, at least a half a dozen going from that. And then I just moved a few of those out into separate pots from the hydroponic. I left two in the hydro just to make sure that we've got those as a safety. But we've got a good, uh, I think, four plants now of the Thai peppers that are going strong. And I'm really happy. About, I mean, they're still little tiny seedlings, but they, they're very happy with a lot of leaves. And they're standing up tall and they're green and they're happy and nice. And so I'm, I'm feeling great about that. So all that is to say that had given me a lot of confidence having all those successes, lots of confidence. So I told DJ to buy extra, when they sell the curry leaves at her store, they sell them as cuttings. They just cut off the whole long uh, frond from the curry tree and package those up. And they're still fresh and green and wonderful. And I heard the best way to try to grow them is from the cuttings. So I planted a whole bunch of those and they just kept drying up and, and failing. I tried them in the hydroponic, I tried them in potting soil, I tried them in seed starting soil. Uh, I, uh, most recently, I've tried some in just a little tiny baby food jar with water and a little bit of uh, root hormone in it. And two of those, I think two of those now still haven't quite completely dried up and died, but there's no sign that any roots are starting and I just don't think they're going to go anywhere. So uh, I guess this is for me to try next. And when you sent so many, maybe I'll put a couple to see if I can start them in the hydroponic. And uh, then I'll put a couple in, um, you know, just a little seed starter and uh, we'll see what happens. And then maybe I can put a couple away. I, I don't know for sure how uh, you store seeds and if you can store them for a long time, but maybe I put a couple away for another try in case the first try doesn't go well. 
Uh, I really appreciate you sending those to us. I wonder, I would like to know if they came from your own curry tree, uh, plant bush. I don't know what you call it as a, as a I mean, they get tall. The, the one species that's the most common gets to be over six feet tall, easy. So I would call it a tree. It looks like a tree. So I'll say curry tree. Uh, I'd love to know if it came from your own or uh, if you, you know, bought seeds somewhere or what. That's uh, that's so exciting. Wow, that's a that's a fun thing for me to play with. I, I really appreciate that. So thoughtful and kind of you. Uh, so to move on with what's in the bag, though, we have uh, the blankets you were talking about. Here's one for ramekin, uh, and I think an identical one for teaspoon. We have one for spatula. We have one for goblet. Now different design. I like that. That's cool too. And Spork, Spork's got, uh, is this the same one? Yeah, these two have mushrooms on them. It's a very cool design. And then these have cute little woodland flowers on them. Uh, that's sweet, one for each. We have then toys, like you said, here's a cute wand with these rainbow uh, leopard print, rainbow leopard print, that would be a cool animal to see. Uh, here we have um, silver vine sticks, little silver vine sticks, always a hit. Uh, everybody loves those quite a lot. Here we have a, a cute little, looks like a goldfish cracker. Uh, it says delicious fishes wand toy. Interesting. Uh, maybe it's supposed to look like a goldfish cracker and they just don't have the, the rights to use that name. So they call it delicious fishes or maybe it's just a coincidence. I mean, there's only so many ways to draw fish. Here we have cat lady. Wow, cat lady brand. Uh, and it's got three. It's got three floofy balls on the end. I know it looks like one item there, but they're three separate little floofy balls. Uh, on the end of a wand. Here we have, oh, these are adorable. Hallmark keepsake. One is a cute mermaid kitty. And it's not just a mermaid, it's a mermaid with a single unicorn horn. And he's holding a starfish and it is a unicorn kitty. Uh, the artist is Ali Jackamowitz. I hope I'm saying that right. I have no idea. That is very cute. 2022, it says, and this one is mischievous kittens, and he's knocking over a little hedgehog planter. It's a it's a planter that's got some kind of a plant in it, and the dirt and is coming out. Uh, the planter itself is shaped like a cute little hedgehog, though. That's a cute little extra detail. And this one is made by an artist named Nina Aub. How cool! And my focus is on adding the perfect amount of motion that will make people smile. Well, indeed. Uh, that little hedgehog is so cute. So these are tiny. I'm not even going to take them out of the box yet, uh, but they're so adorable. I just love them. Thank you very, very much for those. Uh, especially the mermaid. You know, um, uh, our friend Dorm, I, I haven't talked to them in quite a while, uh, but she at the kitten dorm was uh, drawing cat mermaids for a while and sent us one that's still on our fridge. And I was just looking at it the other day and thinking, oh, gosh, I wonder how they do. We haven't talked to them in a while. So the little cat mermaid is uh, is so cute. I love it. Um, and and it's got, like I said, the unicorn horn too. So it's really like all the stuff going on there. All right, very cool. Oh yeah, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I think that uh, the end of the week, right? This week, is it? I'd have to check. I only know because everything at the grocery store is St. Patrick's Day. So we've got some four leaf clovers here. They're cute little cat toys for four leaf clovers. They've got a little end on them. They're obviously catnip in there adorable oh perfect perfect for the holiday and then this <laughs> this is so cute this is the blanket you sent for nibbles and not only is it embroidered like you said so many embroidered with the mom cat's names this one says nibbles blanket paws off that's right get your paws off it's this one's for nibbles that's so sweet nibbles is a is a total little sweetheart she got to come out of her room for the first time basically last oh somebody's already in the, the catnip toy uh, for basically the first time last night, um, she, I can't remember if she got to go out for a few minutes or not before, but <laughs> I brought her and uh, a couple of her kittens at a time into the master bedroom to hang out and see what she thought. And she was so interested in going around and sniffing every single part of the room. I mean, she just wanted to check out everything. She seemed like she was really enjoying herself, not too sad or frantic or anything. <clears throat> but then Maggie started bothering her at the door, and she was very upset by that. So I brought her back to her room. But uh, here, let's save one of these to go upstairs. I can see these two are going to stay right here. They love these things already. They are a little lucky four-leaf clovers. Let's see if I can put this one through a buttonhole. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Uh, and then it'll go upstairs. And 
Anyway, she got to go look around the bedroom. She had a good time with it. She was pretty chill about the whole experience. And it was just Maggie that set her off at the end. I do. I get the impression that she would be okay with most of the faculty and that uh, just clearly, you know, Maggie's going to cause trouble. That's, she's an Aunt, Ma Aunt Maggie, the Aunt Maganist. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. There you go. That worked out pretty well. That'll probably stay there long enough to go upstairs anyway. Uh, Ruth and Bob, thank you so much for the wonderful stuff, the great blankets for the kittens and those cute little tiny kittens and especially those curry seeds. Oh, I cannot wait to try those out. Uh, see what I get. In fact, I will probably plant those right after mailbag. I know I've got now a list of things from uh, this mailbag to take care of, but we will do that. It's all fun. Uh, that is so thoughtful of you. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Hmm. Okay, moment of silence for my coffee. That was good. All right. <clears throat> Finally, the other box from the B&B &B sisters, which I think you can recognize from all of the stickers. And let's see what we have. It's, uh, it's also heavy. I assume there's some kitten food in here. Probably, I would guess, some blankets. And then the rest is a mystery. Let's find out. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's another cute blanket. Oh, that blanket, uh, the one that I think it was the B&B sisters sent, uh, that I said DJ was going to love, that has the little cartoon, the very adorable cartoon cats has been up in the bedroom, on the bed the whole time. She does, in fact, love it. So I guess I'm good at, at telling that much, at least. I guess uh, 10 years of marriage has counted for something. Okay, uh, here we have a cat sleeping on a pile of pillows. Uh, very ornate, sort of, um, uh, what would you call them? Persian? Oriental? I don't know. And uh, the cat's sleeping on at the top, and then at the very top of that, on top of the cat, there's a mouse sleeping. It's cute. Now, there's some other cute little details, too. There's a little bug flying around. Um, all right. Hello to all at Kitten Academy. B&B Sisters here. Again, we've enclosed a bunch of toys to spoil the kittens and cats at Kitten Academy. We also enclosed, enclosed the usual boxes of food and some blankets, one of which we thought looks like Maggie. What do you think? We're still rooting for Little Two's Teaspoon to gain weight and when he fights for his place at the milk bar. Thank you and DJ for all you do. The B&B &B Sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Well, B&B &B Sisters, thank you so much. Yeah, Teaspoon's definitely got it together at this point. I think you know that. He is, in fact, the one that's most likely to go and help himself to food at the food bowl. He hasn't quite figured out eating yet, though. He's more of a food dozer at this point. He, he kind of tries to nurse on it, and he, he just knows if he pushes his little face into the pile of food as hard as he can, then some of it will get in his mouth, and he gets fed. And so he'll just do that. He just gets in there and just pushes it around with his face. Uh, it's super cute. It's super messy, uh, but it gets the job done. He's been doing great. His gains uh, yesterday were fantastic. Um, and it's uh, his two sisters are the ones that uh, they also are big eaters. That they, all three of them will go and eat the food all the time. It's it's wonderful to see that they just they picked it up so fast. Uh, and by his two sisters, I mean the, the all four of the others are girls. Of course, I'll, I'll confirm that at this point. Uh, but I do mean uh, Spork and um, uh, Spork and Spatula, the the two black kittens are the ones that, that go and eat a lot with him. So uh, they're all doing fantastic by eating at the food bowl. Then the two biggest kids, surprisingly, uh, Goblet and uh, Ramekin, are the ones who, they. I have seen them eat a little bit, but they are not self-starting the same way. They would rather just keep nursing with mom. I mean, it's working for them, so why not? Uh, but uh, not as good with the food bowl yet. Hi, buddy. Hi, my little pal. I know that's what I said. I was telling everybody about how you just love to pay attention to me. You've got the big purr going whenever I pet you. Hey, yeah, what are we talking about over here, though? What is it? Are you looking at this thing? Is that what you're looking at? I think it is. Okay. Well, you know, there's two more of those right here, buddy. Don't, don't overlook the swirly clover. All right. There you go. Okay. So let's check these blankets. Let's see what we got here. This is super cute. We've got some block print kitties and with little bows. And also line drawing kitties. That's cool. I love the colors. Look like some sort of semi pastels. Very nice. Okay. We have uh, some bold colors here. Uh, this is sort of like the abstract kitties that you send, but this one doesn't have the sharp edges. So that's kind of neat. Oh, it's got big eyes. Okay. Which way does he go? This way? 
Yes, that looks right. Look at that. Big cat eyes. That's really pretty. It looks like a chalk drawing on a textured uh, thing, kind of. I see some little drops of paint and stuff. I guess it would have been a mixed media. Uh, that's beautiful. All right. Here we go. Those eyes. Oh, my goodness. Very eye catching. All right. Here we have another similar kind of idea, but this one is the, the light mode to that one's dark mode. Oh, here we go. Big eyes on this kitty. Wow, look at those. And very floofy. Is this the one you thought looked like Maggie? Because I can kind of see that, uh, maybe. But I think there's one more that's probably the Maggie one. Uh, this one does look like a big floofer with a big white, uh, you know, um, tuxy print face, though, like Maggie has. So this is the last blanket. Let's see. Is this the one? Oh, yeah. Well, that's totally Maggie. Wow. That's actually... Oh, what? Is it... Oh, I see. It's holding a, a loaf of bread so that it attracts the birds. Maybe that's what she always wanted it for. It's got a bird sitting on its head. It's got these two birds here. It's holding a French loaf uh, in its arms, and the birds are coming up to eat it, and this little sparrow at the bottom demanding some. This is adorable, and it does look... It looks just like Maggie, and of course, she's the bread master. That's too perfect. Wow. That is too perfect. I don't know how much of this is visible on the stream, but that is just, I, that is fantastic. I'm going to toss that over there with the ones that have to go straight upstairs. Here we go. Let's put that right there. That is amazing. All right. I, that's, that's so cool. We're going to see a lot more of that blanket around here. That is totally Maggie. That has to be her. I don't know how you found something so perfect. And what a clever artist to draw that cat uh, with a loaf of bread being making friends with the birds. Very sweet. Okay, two cases of the Fancy Feast like you always send. Very nice. Something in here is making some noise. There are some fun cat toys in here, too, I can tell. Uh, here we have some Charlie balls. All right, that's kind of a normal thing. Here we have those mice that look more like fuzzy cow. Oh, it says caterpillars. I was just about to say they look a little more like fuzzy caterpillars. They are fuzzy caterpillars. Okay, they've even got a little antenna that says catnip caterpillars. Those are like some real woolly bears or something there. Uh, adorable. We've got these fur mice. Uh, no rattles, just fur mice. All right, those are a big hit around here all the time. Uh, oh, realistic chirping sound. Yes, I'll say it is. Uh, ooh, wow, it's very noisy. It's a, a tree and a bird. What kind of bird is this thing? He's very. He's got a very distinctive look to him. Oh my goodness, settle down, buddy. I said settle down. Um, this really looks like something I should recognize. Oh, okay, all right, okay. So apparently the bird chirps. We can tell that the tree lights up, it says. Uh, I My brain is not connecting those to anything except something I should know, uh, which is fine. Here we have a little clownfish, and he's got a pocket that has a little tiny blue fish in it. Look at that. Uh, the little tiny blue fish is on a string, uh, so I won't pull him out yet, but that's super cute. Here we have another one of those beautiful light-up koi. Uh, we saw this in, uh, I think, maybe the last box from you. We definitely saw it in one of the more recent mailbags. And I talked all about how much uh, I have a soft spot for koi because my mom raised them, so I won't get into that now. But what a, what a beautiful koi with this lovely koi tail. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now here we have some betta fish, shiny, sparkly little betta fish. Oh, settle down, buddy. This is amazing. This is a lion sun king. Uh, it's just an amazing lion with a crown with two separate pieces. Look at that mane on that guy. So a lion uh, toy and his giant mane and his sparkly crown is a separate piece. That's so cool. Uh, we've got some mice here with bells and little Charlie balls on their tails. Very cute print. Uh, there we go, like that. Here we have some fruity mice. One is a watermelon. One's wearing a lemon sweater. And the third one appears to, I don't know, it's got flowers on her hair uh, with some cool tails and things. They're going to love all that. Uh, here we have a can of tuna. That's exactly what it is. Pounce toy and organic catnip kitty bell. It's an adorable little can of tuna. Look at that with a full tap, too. Very nice can of tuna. All right, I know that lion's pretty cool, isn't he? Oh, you don't know what to play with over there. All right. Here we have a taco truck. Uh, the taco truck has some crazy feathers coming out the back. Like uh, it says, Tabby's Tacos. It's got hot peppers on it. And uh, the, ta the tail, the feathers coming out the back, make it look like it's on fire or something. Like it's 
going down the street with a lot of pollution coming out of there. Uh, but it's cute. We got a little taco to go with the taco truck. That's we some of the most adorable toys. Uh, speaking of which, we have Fat Cat Hot Sauce. I think I actually have a bottle of Fat Cat Hot Sauce. I'm sure whoever made this intended it to be a parody, but that's an actual thing that does exist. I know because I'm pretty sure there's some in my cabinet right now. Fat Cat Hot Sauce. That's not what their logo looks like. So uh, obviously just, you know, coincidence. Okay. Uh, here we have a taco. We can put some of that hot sauce on. This is one of those weird, like, you know, the, the prints they have that look like they're taken from a photo. And in this taco, it just looks bizarre. Doesn't that look a little strange? I love it. It, it just, the photo looks so out of place there. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. The hot sauce will go perfectly on that. Oh, and we can wash it all down with Cat's Blue Ribbon Big Boy. All right. Cat's Blue Ribbon. That almost sounds like Pabst. Uh, there we go. Cat's Blue Ribbon Big Boy. <laughs> uh, here we got some avocado toast and an avocado uh, with catnip. Wow. Yeah, every single toy is so awesome and unique. Uh, and then finally, a bag of little rattle mice with a, oh, with a feather tail. You want to get that? Oh, you can have one right now. Those will be perfect for endowments. Oh, my goodness. B&B Sisters, everybody's so generous, so wonderful. You guys have given me uh, quite an assignment here, not just to get this sorted and distributed and endowed correctly, uh, but I've got plants to plant. I've got a cat tree to build. I've got a box to, to build and put upstairs. I've got a litter tray to switch out. Um, so uh, lots of assignments for today's mailbag. And I'm very excited to get to work on all of that. So let me get started putting all of this stuff where it belongs. And then I will come back and I'll say thank you one more time. And we will say that was mailbag, all right? So uh, I'm just going to jump right into all of that right now. My back says it's time to get up now, anyhow. All right, there we go. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> okay, uh, well, one thing at a time. Let's see. If their mom's, the mom is in her room, I'm going to close the door on her just like last week. That way I can move stuff in and out. I don't have to worry about her running out here. Or faculty running in. Perfect. Now we can open the door here. Maybe you guys want to go up and see DJ with me. We'll see. All, right. All this stuff going upstairs to those kittens, along with this stuff going upstairs to the wash. And this stuff going upstairs to my office. And this stuff going upstairs to the bathtub garden. Also, uh, okay, I gotta get this other one. 
It's going to blow your mind to what's going to make for us. Ready to your mind for one more? I had to stop and show DJ some stuff. I showed her that blanket with Maggie on it. I can't believe that's not custom made and that's just a thing that existed. It's really like, it's, it's Maggie. It's clearly Maggie. So I don't know how that works. The bread and all. It's mind blowing that it wasn't custom made. Okay, let's see here. All right, that's all going downstairs for now. That's definite endowments. And this is going to be for general use or endowments. Oh my goodness, you are so loud. Oh, the tree's lighting up too. Why am I thinking like kookaburr or something? Is that what they look like? Are they crazy little birds like that? Is this an old gum tree? I don't have the slightest idea, people. I think Perth is in New Jersey, so what do I know? Okay. All right, well, that's so noisy. I'm going to leave it out here. We're going to see what happens. Okay, the rest of this I'm going to put in the general use box for now. Oh, that koi lights up too? That's too much. I really want to deploy the koi, especially since I know we've got another one. Maggie, you want the shamrock, huh? Here you go. Take a shamrock. We're going to deploy a koi. I'm going to take that upstairs with me, I think. I don't want to see that guy around. What do you think? Do you want to chase it for me? Here. There we go. We'll pick it up on our way out. All right, put these with the cat food in the next room. Boy, DJ doesn't even know about this mailbox yet. That thing is so noisy. Oh, you're carrying it around. Okay, well, that makes it fun, though, doesn't it? Okay. All right, it's fun. The noises make it fun. That's how it's supposed to work. Fair enough. I think this little tunnel is probably going to get with that stuff. Oh, he's well anyway. For now.
think I'm going to have to make two trips down to the basement today. All right, let's go. I think this uh, shift thing is going to go up to the bedroom. I think that's a good idea. Kind of have a, like a semi nautical thing going on up there, the palm trees and the, the beach set. So this could kind of go with it. Yeah, and it's pretty and easy. I think I like to see it. So I don't know where should we post them, man. We're we'll gonna put that together in just a minute. Okay. Wow, oh, that's dirty too. That's so nice. Hmm. Yeah, the vacuum in here, there's a lot of stuff around. Do I guess? Okay. Grab this so we can go upstairs and be right now. Get excited, kids. I'm not saying.
I can't understand you, Doopy. I tried. I Hey, buddy, what are you doing over there in the corner? You want to go to the burger barn? Come here, pals. Hi. Okay, here you go. Okay. Okay, we got to floof up your food, huh? Can we just floof it up and then I'll bring you... I can see the RC is all gone. Wow, that's the first time you've gone through every last bit of the RC. I guess it was especially edible today, huh? Oh, hey, buddy, you don't have to fight me for this. I'm just floofing it up for you. Wow, very hungry. Okay, we'll get you some more RC. Come back. I didn't bring this post upstairs to build because DJ wants me to see something on the TV up there. Oh Isn't no, who is that? Who said? made that poop over there? No, it's going away now. You had your time. I made the poop. Tissue bit time's over. I should come upstairs and put the shift tunnel and stuff. Oh. Are you guys poop now? Okay. This, uh, what I'm going to say is a kookaburra. Because I don't know any better. I lost the old gum tree. Hi, buddy. Was it you? Who pooped in the corner? Hey, this pooped. Hang in balls. Spinch. Sports. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Didn't you get the new thing, buddy? Okay, let's put this up to charge too, okay? Right Sweet. Then we're gonna bring our post box upstairs to assemble. Like I said, DJ's got some stuff she wants me to do up there, so let's open this curtain, get some sunlight in. Try not to let it fall on my head today. Alright, always watch the skies. Good. Hey, Spinch. Hey, Spinch. 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 Sp
Oh, okay, that's mailbag. I'm going to end it here. Oh, this house is very familiar. We should follow the house. Okay. All right, well, thanks, everybody. I will catch you next time. That is just uh, it's wonderful. You guys are wonderful. You're the best, literally the best.